You hear that? You hear that, Spartans? That is the sound of a drum beat. And we are back in Rollercoaster Tycoon 3. We have kicked off this year's Fee Park series. Now, I'm a little more hopeful for this one, and hopefully we'll actually be able to finish this. Or I can say for sure, I've got no idea what, as to what I'm going to do. But I had a rough idea, so I decided to get going on like a whole river thing. And a bridge. Yeah, a bit boring, but I decided I wanted some kind of like a Roman thing, bridge thingy. So I first tried in Royale's Antique World, sorry, bridge set, and then went to the Antique World. God, this is going faster than I can speak. So yeah, we got bridge so wide, so high. Yeah, I've never used this set in anything before, so I'm a bit of a noob at this. But hopefully, like before, we're going to see some serious skill improvements. So yeah, I was getting going on this, but then I suddenly stopped and I was like, hang on a minute, what am I going to do on the bottom side? Because I wanted to put arches on there. So at first I tried this, but I just wasn't happy, so instead, I decided to... Well, not yet. But yeah, I, at some point, coming up any second now. So yeah, I was getting an idea of so what I was going to do. But, yeah. So yeah, I just decided to delete the whole thing and start from scratch. So, but I kept that one arch because I knew I had a rough idea of what I was going to do. So, firstly, what I got going was, I was trying to build like a whole thick structure. I was sort of going for something aqueduct like. But I was then I went up trying to get the colours on this one. Right. So as you can see there's me just there. So I think format's pretty much just gonna be like what we did at the Ultimate Theme Park series last year. So yeah. Here we go. That's what I'm gonna put in the arches. Yeah, for me I record fish calling this about ten minutes ago. So hmm. Hopefully we'll be able to finish this one. Now you notice I've got this extra light, and trust me, I know what I'm going to do, but it probably won't work now that I look at it, but we'll see what we can do. So yeah, now I'm starting to find my swing, you know, of like a whole, like, thick layer between the top of the arches and the actual top of the bridge itself. And then, being me, I've changed my mind. So I decided to place the posts, because obviously, I was thinking, ground up, I won't be able to see what I'm doing otherwise. So I just come up with a way of placing these, trying to make it seem as quick as possible. But eventually I got into a rhythm. But there was one point I hit where it got very confusing. But that comes later. Yeah, I really like this song. So there we are, just putting in the top, the lower half of our roof of our wall thing. And then there's me just be spacing with myself, as usual. Seriously, the amount of time I do it on camera is incredible. So, <clears throat> yeah. What I always like about these series is you guys can always see how I do things. And there's the theme park, it's official. So, <clears throat> I'm keeping up my annual tradition, so let's keep on with this. Now I'm starting to get somewhere. Mm. For the record, the song currently playing is just a instrumental version of Can't Hold Us by Macklemore and... No, it's not Ryan Lewis, that's Thrift Shop. I can't remember who this one's by. I know it's Macklemore. It might be Ryan Lewis, but I'm pretty sure that's Thrift Shop. Anyway, but it's called, called Can't Hold Us and it's amazing. And even on low res, you could probably tell this is where I decided hitting problems. Because I can't see anything. I was pretty much placing blinds guessing. If you want to feel free to turn up the quality, because on low res when I'm recording my audio, I can't see what was going down, I was just guessing. Oh, hear that? Such an epic track, this. I t it took me ages to work it out, but I finally found it. It's called Requiem for a Dream. And you know that moment when you've got a track that you know that you you love, you know it off the top of your head, but you've no idea what it's called. Yeah, I get that loads. So yeah, I finally got through that middle section. Finish up that. And got cracking on some sidewalks. Nope, some railings. Then I decided to try and place these. 
At first I thought basically, and then I saw this and I was like, hey, this might, I've got an idea. So I looked at that, I was happy, and carried on. Then it was time to start placing this, the rails on the sides, because obviously we're not going to have a rail lesson, we're not going to be middle earth. Hmm. So yeah, I'm going to see if I can, sh so, actually spoilers. But anyway, at first I tried placing those ballast strad posts and disagrees immediately. For the record, I've only used, well, at the moment I've only used one CS set in this whole episode, which is Ravael's Antique World, which is an utterly amazing set, as you can clearly see. You, if you know how to use it, you can make some great stuff. Hmm, looking, in my eyes, this is looking pretty good. Ish. So, if I'm honest, I've no idea what I'm going to do for this theme park. I had about this entrance bridge sorted out. Then I decided to try and place these statues, and then, but then I decided against it. So, hmm. Here we go. There it is. I signed pots and decided maybe what they would look like if they were white. Not mean to be racist, obviously. I tried small pots, but then I just didn't like that. I thought they were too small. So I'm probably going to put plants in these, but I'm going to need to find the right CS set. So I'm going to get those in there. That is like, hey, instead of having plasma now, let's have fountains. So yeah, I placed the, went for those, the muck thing. So then I decided to see, press play, and looks good, but I thought it was a bit meh, so I decided to go for some more fountains. For the record, the set is called, um, oh, what's it? Uh, thank you. Rally Elves Fountains. It's, seriously, this guy makes a great CS. Here we go. That's the fountains. I just thought it looked a little cooler. So there I was just looking here, I was like, hmm. What can I do here? Then I decided to go for this, just completely cover all these paths. I mean, I'll know where it is, it'll come up on the path editor. Then I was just like, that looks good. Now we're getting somewhere. I later realised I accidentally did this on quarter top on half tiles. But oh well. Still looks awesome. Forgive me if I'm if this may look a little silver at light, I'm probably because I'm watching way too much of his videos lately, but seriously. For good people for us to check out Silver X Verona Valley from earlier this year. Which is pretty much what inspired me to do this. So <clears throat> Yeah, if there's one thing I've learned, it's attention to detail. You've always got to be attentive to detail. Such a great song, this track. Anyway, so that, well, I noticed, I noticed I was getting gaps in the middle. So, hmm. Well, that was a lot of times. Just as this whole thing's starting to come together. So I'm over with this series for a one that I can finish it because I'm feeling a little deprived of a good showcase video lately. After that I decided to place columns. Just for that extra little detail, because those roofs were looking a bit hanging. After that I decided to place these. I'm, I'm, I'm not sh quite sure about my colour scheme, I might change it. But at the moment I'm going to stick with it. I might change those to like something white or something. Or maybe not. Let me know what you guys think. And also, from now on, if you suggest any coaster ideas, I will do my best to try and include them, but I'm sorry, I'm probably going to have maximum four coasters in this park, and one of those ideas is already taken up. I'll tell you later when it, in the series when it happens. So the reason I'm starting this now, so I can actually get time to finish it before Mox in December. Oh yeah. So I decided on those fountains, then I decided to experiment with you. And then Rollercoaster well, Tiger 3 its usual self. So I went for, yeah, that's us. Why not? So we're just coming up to the end of our recording here. So I'm probably gonna, I decided to wrap up this bridge. Hmm. So, uh, hmm. 
well, yeah, I guess not else what there is to say. Other than that, I hope this series goes well. I hope you guys are looking forward to it. I've been looking forward to it for quite a while. And I think we're going to get some good results of this. Well, so far we've got a nice bridge, I think. But I've no idea what else I'm going to do afterwards. But I can certainly say that I've learned a lot more new tricks and tips since the Ultimate Queen part. So, mm -hmm. I guess as we wrap up, all the stuff to say is... I am Shadow T Guy Thousand, you are watching RCC3 Let's Play 2014, and this is YouTube.com slash Marshmallow Murderers. See you in the next episode.